Hello friends of the Lonely Lagoon channel. Today we are on my road, Salt Whistle Bay, a very beautiful place, a very exotic place. You have here everything you want. You have the palm trees, you have the nice sandy beach, you have the flat, clear water, easy anchoring. But that's the reason why this is not really a lonely lagoon. We have now around 20 boats lying on this place. But okay, well, it is really lovely. Everybody wants to see it. And also, this bay is part of the Tobago Key Marine Park. So, nearby the favorite Tobago Keys. So, everybody comes here and takes a rest before or after visiting the Tobago Keys. Sandy ground on around two meters means six feet water and you see we are not in the first place you can anchoring also more near the beach because the, the water is really maybe three four five meters away from the beach it starts getting like two meters so the catamaran especially can lie in the first line also, our moorings available, so 50% of the people are anchoring and 50% of the people use a mooring. In the part in the northern area, it's very nice to stay, but the wind is coming directly, so anchoring is not so easy. In the other places, it's very nice because there is only a small wind, doesn't matter how strong the wind is outside. In Salt Whistle Bay, you shouldn't go too near to the beach if you have a mono hull. But the friendly people will help you to come back in the water. situated in the northeast of the bay and here you can see the place where you can do the kite surf it's the northeast coast of Myro here we start nearby the really beautiful beach and the favorite salt whistle bay resort is also here it's a bar and they start building some houses but I don't think they are ready now and on the other side of the end of it you see all the nice boats lying in the second and third row and now we have a look to the last bar in the jungle before the jungle sorry 